What's up guys and welcome to today's video. This is a full day of eating, just kind of what I eat on a, a somewhat day-to-day -day basis, minus what you'll see at the end that I'll actually explain. But anyway, before we actually get into the full day of eating, I just want to take you through a quick um, one of my chest and shoulder workouts. Now this is my chest B workout in my push-pull legs repeat routine. So with this one, I focus, the primary compound movement is going to be my shoulder press, which is what I did first. Then I move on to a chest press, and I do two other chest exercises, and then a few tricep accessories at the end of it. Now that we've covered that, as briefly as it was, um, I want to talk about my macros and what I'm actually eating in this video today, like what I'm aiming for. So at the moment, I'm cutting for a competition that I want to do on June 15th. You may have heard of it. It's the summer shredding competition that's happening in America, um, in Houston, hosted by Christian Guzman. Now, I'm aiming for gold, so for the next 16 weeks, I have to be uh, on point with everything, nutrition, training, and it's exciting. But anyway, back onto the macros. So I'm five foot three, and I weigh about 66, 67 kilos, which is roughly about 150-ish pounds. Um, so my current macros are, uh, I think they are, oh, I say I think, they are 1800 calories, and that's broken down into 200 grams of protein, 160 grams of carbohydrates, and 40 grams of fat. And on top of that, I'm doing 200 calories of cardio, five days a week, um, so Monday to Friday. Um, the reason I implemented the cardio in is because my basic calories that I need day to day in order to function is around about 1900 so I've put myself into a 100 calorie deficit through food alone and then the extra 200 calories are coming from cardio uh, so that puts me in a total of 300 calories now this is gonna um, increase as time goes on and as weight starts getting more tricky and as I start to find out what I need to do and if I need to drop more weight relatively quickly I'll increase the weight but that's what I mean before in this video all the meals you're going to see are going to add up to them macros, um, and there are easy and sufficient ways that you can find out how many calories and macros you should be eating per day, which I will link a load of sources in the description down below. Some of them are videos and some of them are online calculators that you can actually fill in yourself um, to kind of find out what you need to eat. Because everyone's an individual, you need to eat individual um, portions. But anyway, this brings an end to my chest, shoulders, and tricep workout. Enjoy the video, and I'll speak to you in the next clip. So I've literally just got back in from the gym. That was a really good chest and tricep session. If you haven't done the end exercise in well, that sort of started training, I would recommend doing it. Um, usually for me, burnout exercises are completely boring, but I don't know, challenging a friend and winning a monster out of it, you can't go wrong with it. But as of now, I'm going to be fasting until about mm, half 11, 12-ish. Only because usually <clears throat> I fast from about 1 to 8. But I've been up since 4. So we're not going to do it for as long because I'm going to be relatively hungry. Um, but until then, um, we're going to stick to having this monster. But I'm having a shower beforehand. I'm going to clean the room. Get on with a bit of client work as well. Do some check-ins. Uh, get some paperwork done again clean this fucking bombshell up and then we'll go into a fat and then we'll go in to our first meal i'll talk about fasting more in depth later in the video only because there's a big well a massive misconception with fasting and how it contributes towards weight loss um but until then i'm going to take a shower we'll have a monster we'll clean this up and i'll see you in the next one a few hours later, we showered, changed, room is looking clean, it's looking fresh, and we're about to have our first meal of the day. It's about half past 12. I ended up not drinking the Monster, I got carried away with cleaning up and doing a bit of client work. Um, so we're having that with this meal. Um, this meal is going to consist of 150 grams of lean turkey mince, two slices of low calorie toast, two full eggs, some chicken and sweet corn soup, and 200 grams of strawberries. But to be fair, the strawberries I'm going to snack on for maybe the next hour or so, um, just because it's about a 600 calorie meal. Um, the macros for this are on screen, but it's about 63 protein, 52 carbs, and 13 grams of fat. So we're going to smash this down. I'm currently watching my boy Rob Lipset, Rob Lipset and his new video. So we're going to eat this, chill out afterwards. 
Um, I've got a podcast that I'm recording at four o'clock, um, at about four, half four. Um, need to go shopping, need to get some food as well, because I did not realise how low on everything that I was. you think I would be prepared with food if I'm doing a full day of eating, but I'm not. So we're going to smash this down, watch this video, um, head to Tesco's, get some food, and crack on with the day. So yesterday, I completely forgot that I ordered this. It just arrived from Amazon, and I'm excited to open it. Basically, I want to start making more YouTube videos like I did with my Five Fridays series, um, but a lot better. I found when I was making them videos, they weren't enjoyable to make. Um, scripting them was relatively easy, but filming them, it was just hard to stay motivated in, in actually filming them. So I may change that to like an Instagram thing to do on Fridays. Um, but anyway, so I have a DSLR camera. I have a crappy tripod, but I needed something better in order to get better quality videos out. That's where this comes into play. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to show you what it is. Um, like I said, ordered this yesterday. Didn't expect it to come this early because it said... It would arrive by 8 o'clock. Let's not miss my face out. It's kind of better. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. That's better. I'm fed up with that falling over. Okay, so. Have a tripod. A new one. This is relatively... Say relatively. This is more heavy duty than the one I already have. Which is why I bought it. It's the one that I already had whenever I, I tried to film with my DSLR. I put the camera on the tripod. The camera was so heavy, it would just fall down. And the tripod would just... Yeah. So, we've got a new tripod to make filming a lot easier. We can get some stable shots. Um, and also, audio was a big one that I had an issue with. Because I had to use the... Built-in mic that's on the DSLR. It didn't give me good quality. It didn't give me the quality that I was after. So I watched a few videos on some mics, and obviously the Rode Video Go mic is about sixty quid. Um, it's good. A lot of YouTubers use it, and I liked it. Um, but it was just out of the budget at the moment. So with the next best thing, which. It's got a few good reviews on, and it's the Tackstar SGC598 recording microphone for DSLRs. It's a shotgun mic, so it's pretty much the exact same as a Rhodes mic, but it's just... It's not Rhodes, so we'll find out. But the quality in the video that I've watched was actually good. So I'm going to get it out, see what it's like. Ooh... So when you open the package, this is what you're greeted with. It's a little fold package. There's a few more things in here. I think there's a case for it and instructions how to use it. But basically, you're greeted. You're given the shotgun mic itself. Sits on top of the camera just here. So take this part off and you chuck it on there. Um, and I've also got the... Whatever this is, the cover for the microphone as well. So I think this just reduces a lot of excess wind. So if you're recording outside, um, you're not going to get a lot of that sort of hissing sound that you get with wind. But I'm excited to use this. Um, the one good thing about this is it does have some settings to up 10 dB. Now there was a good thing about that, but I genuinely can't remember what that was. The best thing is I have... A video scripted that I want to get out by beginning of March, um, early March. I have videos scripted, no I don't, I have videos, video ideas written that I also want to continue. So I want to be looking at maybe getting them out maybe once every two weeks along with a vlog every week along with a new blog post on my website every week so there's a lot of content coming um it's just about staying consistent with it and trying to get it done but we've made the investment we've got some gear we we're going to be able to upgrade the quality of it oh damn um so 
just stay tuned for a few of them for a few of them videos the video that i've got scripted out that i'm going to record at some point this weekend is weight loss 101 and it's going to cover a few basic topics that you need to understand um when dieting so like macros calories how to figure out what macros you should be having per day how to structure a training program around it do you need cardio a few misconceptions that will be out by the within the first week of march so turn on notifications stay tuned for that um so now that this is came we're going to chuck this away clean up a little bit like all the mess and then we're going to head to tesco's and get some food now can we take a minute just to appreciate the fashion we've got going on here i've got my vans ultra range shoes i've got my legend london jeans the scarf top and jacket is all from new look men and i'm thinking i look very fashionable see it's light outside so you'd think why are you wearing a scarf but this is england so it's absolutely freezing at the moment this is needed despite it looking like that now we're actually heading to tesco's i've been saying it all day and it's kind of become my mission to head to tesco's because i'm running so low on food i've actually still got that monster that i had from earlier i was actually expecting to drink it relatively soon so let's throw this in the recycling then we'll head off just got back from Tesco's. I did a very small food shop. This is just to last me until the end of the week so I can actually go on, go on a big food shop. Um, and when I do that, I'll take you guys through that and show you what my sort of week to week diet consists of and like all the foods that I get and give you guys some tips on low calorie foods and sort of diet hacks that you can do. Um, two big ones that I've bought in this shopping hall, um, which I'm actually gonna have this type of halo top. Um, on the weekend. Now this started off in America is where I first saw it. 360 calories for a whole tub of cookie dough ice cream. It's actually amazing. So if you're dieting like I am at the moment, then this is going to be perfect for satisfying them cravings. It's like five quid per tub, so it's expensive. But to be fair, if you have one or two a week, that's money that you, you can just justify. It, it's, it's amazing. So I've got a tub of that. Um, I got five of these 10 calorie jellies. Now these are actually amazing. Um, I bought two of the lemon cheesecakes, two strawberries and an orange. These taste incredible and they are perfect for having with a sort of snack or a meal just to sort of finish it off as a dessert and sort of bulk out your meal. I got some chicken and a tin of mulligan whatever rice, rice um, soup. That tastes like curry sauce essentially. Um, having that with some rice and some chicken with some veg thrown in there as well. It's amazing, again, for a low calorie meal. I bought some Snacker Jacks. These are perfect. I think these are like six grams of carbs per actual, or uh, 8.1 grams of carbs per actual um, jack <laughs> or per, per portion, which is very good. Mixing that with some um, low calorie Philadelphia spread, which actually I'm going to do in a minute and have that as a snack, um, is a great, great snack. And then I've just bought some 45 calorie bread, seven and a half grams of carbs per slice of this. And as you saw, this is the bread that I had this morning. Um, usually I have maybe some turkey bacon on top of this, maybe some cheese slices with some of this chicken in between it as well. Uh, make cheese sandwiches, make toast with some chocolate spread on. And honest to God, toasting this for maybe a minute and a half to two minutes, and then five grams of this on each slice, because these are relatively small, they're non-crust, so they're, they're small, um, makes a perfect snack as well. So I'm going to put all this away, because the ice cream is melting. I'm going to put all this away, and then I will record my next meal for you. And this will be meal two of the day. So meal two is more of a snack. I've got three of those snacker checks you saw me buy, buy earlier with some Philadelphia and Chives light cheese spread over the top of it. And I've also got one of those 10 calorie jellies um, and I'm still finishing off that monster. And while I'm cutting and I'm, I'm dieting down for the first few weeks, maybe the first six or seven weeks, stuff like the jellies and the monsters, as long as I don't have like six or seven of them a day, I don't count them into my day-to-day -day way in my macros in my fitness pal because stuff like this is just gonna be expended through neat um, exercising or just walking to work and walking home um, or just burning the calories 
heaps off, so I'm not going to count them. I'm going to count the Snacker Jacks. I think this meal comes to about 24 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fat, and 3 grams of protein. So I'm a little bit low on protein at the moment, but that's going to be sorted out. I have got a protein cookie as well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have it because it's relatively high on fat, and I've used quite a lot of my fat up with the breakfast this morning, and the Philadelphia had about 2 grams of fat in it as well. So... We'll, we'll see, maybe I'll have half of it, maybe I won't. But at the moment, my calories are sitting at just about, I think it's under 800. I think it's just over 700, under 800. Um, so I'm nowhere near the 1800 goal yet, but I have a lot of my meals, um, like I have a lot of my calories at the end of the night because I train at like four in the morning most days. So there's no point in me having a lot of carbs now. Um, that was annoying, my SD card just got full, so I had to delete a bunch of stuff with it. Anyway, as I was saying, I train at like 4 in the morning most mornings, so there's no point in me having a lot of carbs now after working out where it's not going to be utilised. I may as well wait until later on in the night, eat the majority of my carbs and my calories then, so when I go to train, I have all the glycogen in my body ready to use as energy when I'm working out. Um, so it's more, it's, it's being smart of your meal timing, so there's no point having a bunch of energy in your body when you're not going to use it. Um, so you may as well be efficient with it. So I'm going to eat this snack. I'm going to watch a few YouTube videos. Um, I'm recording a podcast in about an hour and a half to two hours. So once we've done that, I'll move on to my next meal. And I think I'm going to have another snack and then one more meal. And that will do me for the day. Um, and that will be about it. So I'll see you in the next clip. Just finished filming my podcast. I'm now finishing off the rest of my macros with a bowl of rice, half a serving of protein powder, and some extra chicken. Now, it's about nine, half nine. Um, the podcast ran a little bit later than I thought it was going to. So, as you can tell, I've not had many veggies today, but it's okay because 95% of the time, other than the 5% now, my diet is pretty much on point and on check. It's just I was in a bit of a rush. Time ran over. The podcast was a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. So I had to improvise. It's getting late. I was supposed to have this meal 20 minutes ago, but we've only just finished. So easy to make, easy to eat. It's not going to bloat me up too much. So I'm going to eat this, watch a few more YouTube videos and finish off the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can take some of these ingredients and in, in these meals and implement them into your day-to-day -day routine. And I hope I've given you some ideas, but I will see you in the next video.